。皆さん、こんにちは。Now you've created your first n e w p o d lesson, it is now time to administer so the students can participate. Now, when you hover over, you've got choice between live lesson or student paste. The live lesson is where you control the actual lesson. So, for example, if you change the slide, changes on student's end. With the student paste, it is exclusive to paid version, but as of 2022nd of May, it is free until the 30th of June. So, let's have a look at live version. So when you click on live lesson, it gives you an option to either email or share with social media, link, and so on and so forth. It gives you five letter code. Now, easiest way, if you are doing online teaching, where you can just copy and paste your link in the chat box, is to click link, and that will generate a link where students can just Click and then just join. So here is what the Nearpod student link looks like. So I'm just going to type in the name and join session. And it starts off with the first slide that I had before. So I can just go to go through. And submit. Now you can edit down some, and once students get into your Nearpod lesson, this is what you'll see. So, this is the quiz that I just completed as a student. And then if I click next, it moves to the next slide, and for the student screen, it moves as well. Now you cannot always see what students are doing. And one of these things that you can see is the draw function. So, for example, if I start drawing my screen from a student's perspective, you can see how one of those students is doing. And I've not hit submit at the moment, but you can see how the students are actually going in terms of whether they're getting it correctly or if they need、um, assistance. And if I click submit as a student, it comes up as submit. You can also share with the students, and that comes up anonymously. And let's move on to collaborate. Now, when you click collaborate, it gives you option whether you want to moderate the student's response or just let it go as everything comes up. So if I just click no, And if I start seeing inappropriate things, you can just get rid of that particular response. If you choose yes, so for example, if I go back and start again and click yes, let's just say it comes up and says, Do you want to approve this? So if you don't want to approve, You can just say no and it disappears from the student's screen. The time to climb is another interactive activity that is similar to Kahoot. So if you click, so this is what students will see, and it's accompanied by rather chirpy music. They just click and start. And this is what you'll see from a teacher's perspective. So I can see how many people are in there, and you can start. Now, once you've completed your n e a r p o d activity, you can end the session. And for you to have a look at the report, what you do is once again hover over the activity you've been working on and click on the three dots. With the three dots, you can export reports. And it tells you how the students did in each of these activities. You can also 
share particular Nearpod activity with another teacher by sending editable link. So hopefully this video helped you with setting up Nearpod and how to incorporate in your class.